Hey skaters, I'm Dirty Deborah Harry with the Dirty School of Skate and Sugar Roller Skates. And I'm here at the Fountain Valley Skating Center today to talk to you about doing front crosses. We're gonna take it from the very beginning and then we're gonna jazz it up a little bit to make you look like the smoothest, most confident skater out there, okay? But before we do that, if you guys are not subscribed to this channel, my lord, why not? Please help me get to 100,000. I mean, you know, we got to 50 and then I'm on my way to 75, but I just think I need some big help. 100,000 would just be the biggest for me. It would be so exciting because just today I was thinking, oh my God, I got super excited when I had 10,000 subscribers. I thought there are 10,000 subscribers that actually want to watch these videos. That is the most amazing thing to me. But anyway, you guys, I'm so grateful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it. And then, you know, if you don't have skates and you need to know where to get them, I highly suggest you just roll on over to planetrollerskate.shop and ask those girls if they can help you. You tell them Dirty sent you, and I swear, they will take good care of you. All right, let's get into today's lesson. Today we're gonna talk about front crosses. In the world of artistic skating, when you skate really formal, a front cross is, you know, just very like formal, like that. Front crosses. We're not gonna do that. I mean, we're gonna do that, but we're gonna make it look good so that you feel good while doing it. And we're gonna do it in the form of a forward skate or a forward stride so that you can look good either indoors or outdoors moving along. So let's take it from its very basic and then amp it up, okay? So I like to start with Let's just see if you can cross one foot over the other. Chin up, shoulders straight across, snack area nice and tight and arms out. Bend your knees, put your weight on your outside foot. For me, I'm gonna lift up my right foot, put over on left, so I am going to push my center line of balance over my knee on this foot, which is my left. I'm gonna put it over my baby toe. I am going to pick my foot up with my hip, so it's gonna be up and cross. As soon as I cross it, it lands on the outside edge of my skate. My outside wheels hit down first. As soon as that happens and the outside wheels are hitting down, I then transfer the weight over to the inside. So now I'm on a flat that can release this skate over okay i feel like that was a long drawn out way to say get down lean lift set it down and release that's basically what it is now we're going to take it rolling okay just a little roll out we're just going to do right over left so we're going to skate forward arms out chin up shoulders across snacks are tight we're down lean lift cross release that release has to happen pretty quick okay because if it doesn't happen pretty quick and you're you know not the best skater sometimes you can get caught like this and you might panic it happens okay so i want down lean lift cross release Skate forward again, down, lean, lift, cross, release. Down, lean, lift, cross, release. Now, of course, we are gonna do exactly the same in the opposite direction, which means I'm gonna drop my body weight down, lean towards the right. Center of balance is over the knee. The knee is pushed towards the baby toe so I can hold on to this outside edge. Gonna lift with my hip up over Drop it down, release. Lean up, over, drop it down, release. One of the most important things about this is when you pick this foot up and set it down, it's going to hit the outside wheels first and then push onto the inners before you release the other foot, okay? Now, let's see if we can do 
left side rolling, all right? So I'm just gonna roll forward and skate forward and I'm gonna go lean, lift, drop, release, lean, lift, drop it over, release, okay. I think the thing that ends up making this really good looking and really effective is all about your hips. You've got to be willing to turn your hips into the direction in which we are taking the foot over. So for me, if I'm taking my right over left, I got to be willing to turn this hip in and then turn this hip in. Turn it in, turn it in, turn it, turn it, turn it, okay? When we do this, I want you to really look at my upper body and see how I counterbalance this. Because if I am going to take this hip and pick up my foot and turn my foot way over here with my hip pushed this way, I got to take this shoulder and keep it this way way so that I don't turn in a complete circle. If I take my right over left and turn my hip, I'm going to turn in a circle. If I don't want to turn in a circle and I go like this, this shoulder, forward, forward, forward. I know that we've gone through this before. Let's talk about shoulder positions and how they can help you. This is your neutral shoulder position. This is your closed this is your open. Keep your shoulder open if you want to turn. Keep your shoulder neutral for just skating down the floor. And then close your shoulder if you do not want to turn. Again, let's do it this way. Neutral, closed, open. So if I'm going to take my left over right and I'm gonna turn this hip into this direction, I take this shoulder and close it. Once I close it like this, I am not gonna turn in a full circle. All right, so we've gone over the feet and we've gone over the hips. Now the trickiest part is to weave it one into the other, okay? So we're gonna skate forward, down position, lift up, turn your hip, turn your hip, turn and turn. As you can see, there is a moment where I'm down and I lift up and cross. Do you see this positioning? Here's me, closed shoulder, turned hip, foot down. I'm ready to release this foot over here. It's gonna come up and around. It's harder to do when you're not rolling, okay? can do this with a big old leg sweep or I can do this real small. If I do it with a larger leg sweep out to the side, it's going to really help me learn balance and develop better strength and edging. So you might want to try that. Let me show you what it looks like. Chin up, shoulders straight across, all that jazz. Down, lift, roll, swing it out. Turn, hips turning, hips turning, turn into it, turn into it, into it, lift it out, turn into it, okay? Now, once you can do that, let's dial it down. Let's dial it down, keep it all small, keep it in tight, keep it moving and moving and moving like this so that we can Bump it to the beat of the music that we're not playing, but the music that you're currently feeling, you know, at your house or in your little earbuds. You're skating outside. Let's make it small. I'm looking ahead. Lift, cross, release. Lift, cross, release. Lift, cross, release. Lift, cross. Cross, release. Cross, release. Cross, release. Cross. When I pick up that foot and I set it down, there is a lot of weight going down on that foot. That weight transfer is so important. My weight's right here. I lift this foot up, weight down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up. So it's smaller, down, down, weights, down, down, 
down. Last part of this is, you'll notice once my foot is down, I carve back just a bit. Down, I carve back, drop it down, carve back, drop it down, carve back, drop it down, carve back. When I say carve back, I mean making a hard, controlled, outside edge. So it's more than what we see. It's more than just crossing our feet like this. If we want to skate forward and have any kind of momentum, it's got to be more than just exchanging the feet. We're exchanging the feet and then carving back. So really look at my feet on this one. So I drop it down, carve it back, drop it down, carve it back, carve, 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 carve. These are outside edges. Now you get that upper body into it. Swing it. Side to side, baby. Side to side. Side to side. Then we want to do it faster. We're going to make it smaller. We're going to pop up a little bit. Side to side. Boom, boom, boom. So, you guys, later on, like maybe in a couple of videos from now, I really want to see us be able to do this one, two, three, four. Maybe we do a scissor, spin, push off in your toe stop and cross, cross, cross and cross, right? Scissor, spin, forward, push off on your toe stop. Something fun like that. Wouldn't that be great? We can do this. We can do this together. Even if you are a beginner skater, we can do this, okay? So for beginners, I really, really want you to focus on proper body posture. My gosh, I went like this because I spent a lot of time in Catholic school, okay? So, but this means body posture, okay? Check your body posture, damn. Beginner skaters, I wanna see this where you're just crossing over. When you're more advanced, you can lay it down and swing it around by following your outside edges. More advanced, we're gonna be holding on to our edges. Then we're gonna be doing something else. We're gonna be swinging around, push off, do some cute stuff. I don't know. Let's get creative, right? Do we not have time to be creative? Yes, we do. You guys, let's do this outdoors too. Outdoors, no problem. I've been getting a lot of questions about, can I do this outdoors? Everything that we do indoors, we can do outdoors. No problem. You just have to have a different set of wheels and make sure that your uh, area is, uh, you know, pretty... Uh, debris free should I just say if you're not the best outdoor skater you want to make sure that the area you're skating doesn't have a lot of debris but you know if you're a pretty decent skater you can blow right through that stuff too so you guys did you like that lesson I feel like I did and, and you know I've said this before sometimes I don't like teaching like figure skating kind of stuff because people are like wah, wah, wah. but here's the deal everything that's done in figure skating is the basis of everything we do in skating. It is the building blocks, it's the alphabet, it's everything. So hopefully I presented it in a way in which you like it and feel challenged by it, maybe. So for those of you who are new to skating, because I know we have a ton of new people just getting into skating now, or rediscovering skating, come say hi. <laughs> I mean, I know you're looking at me because you got skates on and you're talking. So I know you might be like, maybe that's that girl, I don't know. Come say hi. I'll be more than happy to help you wherever you see me skating. I'm always ready to help. All right, I could just drag on all night, but we don't need any of that. Go practice. I need you to practice this. If you don't get it right away, no big deal. Practice, 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 practice. All right, skaters. We'll see you next time, okay?